Step number one, factor the denominator. You might immediately ask, what do I do if I can't factor the denominator, if it's not factorable? Then you'll end up with an arc 10. We'll see that later. This denominator is easily factorable. Now that's one thing that I won't review right now. I will assume that you can just look at this denominator, the quadratic polynomial in the denominator, and be able to factor it. I'll be happy to review this later. I just don't want to take us off track for that exercise. So let's for now assume that you're able to factor this polynomial, and you'll end up with x plus 6. No, nope. x, x minus 6 x plus times x plus 2. There it is. Okay, next thing is you break this up into two fractions. One has x minus 6 in the denominator, the other one has x plus 2. Now we don't yet know what goes in the numerators, except we know that they'll be constants, because both of these are linear factors. What goes in the numerator will be constants. We'll once again denote them by a and b. Next, to determine a and b, we'll recombine these fractions and match it up with x minus 1. And so what I would actually do, rather than drag the integration procedure along with you, I would just do it offline. Offline meaning not as part of this chain that has integrals, because this is a pure algebraic exercise. And so let's just do it right here. And we really need only pay attention to the numerator. Because we know the denominator will work out and will be this factor, so we don't need to write that out. We just need to write the numerator. So let's focus on that. So it'll be a times x plus 2. And now recombining, in other words, collecting like terms, it will be a plus b times x. And so now we see that a plus b must be 1, because that's the linear coefficient in our target. a plus b must be 1. And 2a minus 6b must be minus 1. So now we have to solve this system of equations, whichever way you can. You know how to solve the systems by substitution, right? Later on in linear algebra, you will learn Gaussian elimination. Or you can just try and guess. This is too complicated for me to guess. So here's what I'm going to do. Let's write out the system. We have a plus b equals 1. Eliminating a, we find a <coughs> equals 1 minus b. Plug it in here. So b is 3 eighths, which means that a is 5 eighths. So now copying it over, and now each one of these terms is trivial to integrate. Ready for next?